Good morning, friends. I'm uh, gonna do some shorter videos in the run up to camp, not full length vlogs. Cause ain't nobody got time for that right now. Uh, but I wanted to just continue to be with you guys reflecting on the readings of the day in the run up to camp. Uh, and I don't know about you guys, but the more <laughs> I, the more time I spend, not like so much time every day, but just the, the longer term period of time that I've kind of been sitting with the parable of the prodigal son, uh, the more it's captured my imagination and the more it's kind of colored, I'm gonna turn safely here. Uh, the more it has colored the way that I pray and the way that I think about God and the way that I think about myself. So here's just a quick example. Uh, the gospel of today, uh, we're now into ordinary time. Happy ordinary time, by the way. Uh, today is Wednesday. Uh, the, I think we're in the eighth week of ordinary time, but this past Sunday was Pentecost. In any event, um, I said these would be short. <laughs> um, in the gospel for today, the eighth, the Wednesday of the eighth week of ordinary time, uh, Jesus is uh, on his journeying on his way to Jerusalem, and it's his first really direct spelling out of what's going to happen in his passion, death, uh, and resurrection in the Gospel of Mark. I think we're in Mark chapter 10. I don't remember exactly. but um, And the disciples are really scandalized by that. And then we get this very odd thing happening. Jesus says, I'm about to go die. And uh, James and John come and say, uh, we have a, a favor to ask. Will you basically let us be your your chiefs in the new kingdom that you're about to initiate and Jesus has this beautiful little reflection on leadership and he says uh, the son of man did not come to be served but to serve uh, and so then should you as well and <clears throat> I, I was just thinking about what does that mean uh, obviously, we can talk about servant leadership, and at Extreme Faith Camp, we have just countless beautiful examples of what that looks like in our high school leaders, and our chaperones, and our prayer team. Um, but with respect to the parable of the prodigal son, I was thinking about it. what. How does the father love in that parable? How does he love? His love lives out Jesus's teaching about service so, so beautifully. There was nothing, worldly speaking, um, that was self-serving in the love of the Father. He was in no way seeking to serve himself. All of the expression of his service was other-focused, was focused on his sons. And that's just incredible. Like, uh, if he was thinking about himself, he would have been uh, defensive. He would have been seeking reparation, uh, making his son apologize and grovel. And, you know, let alone the fact that he's waiting on the roadside, presumably day after day, just gazing down the road, longing for his son to come home. Um, because he misses him, yes, but, but even more so for his son's own sake, because he knows his son has fallen into despair, into ruin, uh, into a life that's going to lead to sorrow and bitterness and, and not to fulfillment and joy. Um, the father's not just pursuing happiness for himself. He's not golfing with his friends. He's not, you know, whatever, whatever old people do, uh, to pursue, uh, fulfillment for their themselves right he's longing for uh, his son's good and he's seeking his son's good uh, and I, I find that so inspiring it's so easy for every single one of us to just continually fall into uh, the temptation of seeking our own happiness seeking our own fulfillment seeking um, our, our own desires and to some extent that's okay as long as they're uh, in align with, with the will of God for us. Um, but friends, the, the, the ultimate key to happiness in life 
is to seek the other's good, is to, to find uh, ways to die to our own desires uh, and to help to fulfill the desires of other people, the good desires of other people. And so I, I, I pray that for myself today, that I would seek that, um, that I would seek to know that more fully uh, and live that more fully. Uh, and that's my prayer for you all today as well, for you and your families, uh, for our parishes, uh, for our diocese, and for our world. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Can't wait to see you all in just a couple weeks. Peace.